Look, the learning objectives for this topic uh, include f f first microscopic observations of microorganism and what was spontaneous generation and how spontaneous generation issue was solved. Back then, um, when a person used to be sick, people thought that this is uh, uh, the punishment from the God. So nobody knew that the disease basically is caused by microorganism. Lucretius and Fracastro were among the first who suspected that there are disease-causing agents that basically cause the disease. But because microorganisms were not easy to see, there has to be um, a tool uh, that need to be invented so that the microbes could be seen. Robert Hooke was the first who published drawings of the microbes in 1665, and he also observed that <clears throat> structures are made up of cells. So this is the man who basically is behind the, the cell theory. Similarly, we see uh, when we study the history of microbiology, uh, another scientist, Anthony Juan Leeuwenhoek, he was basically the first who published uh, the morphology of uh, microorganisms. He called them animalcules, small animals. Now, because microbes were not seen with the naked eye, and people thought that, that life could be generated from organic matters spontaneously, and that gave rise to a theory of spontaneous generation. Even Aristotle, who was the philosopher at the time, he also thought that um, organisms or at least invertebrate, small uh, insects, could arise from um, organic matters, from non-living organic matters. But Francesco Reddy discredited the generation, spontaneous generation theory. Uh, he did this very famous experiment where <clears throat> he put meat in uh, different jars. Some were left open, some were sealed, and as a result, uh, he concluded that those jars that, that remained covered and didn't allow the flies to lay eggs inside, uh, they remained clean, and there was no life uh, present. But then when Leeuwenhoek said that microbes are there present uh, in various fluids, uh, it renewed the controversy of spontaneous generation again. And people thought, well, large animals probably cannot originate uh, spontaneously, but microbes that are very small, they can be. In 1748, John Needham uh, did an experiment he boiled extract of hay and, or meat, and he proved that life could arise from them spontaneously. But what he did, basically, he boiled, uh, he took a mutton broth and boiled it, and then sealed with the, those bottles with the stoppers. But um, some of those flasks, they got contaminated you know, with the microbes, and they became cloudy, and there was uh, signs of life there. Microbes were there. And he concluded, although wrongly, that organic matter has some vital force that can give rise to life, like microorganisms. Spallanzani uh, did another experiment to disprove that. He um, put the meat, uh, made that broth, and then he sealed before he boiled the broth. So boiling basically, basically killed microorganisms. And, but then he thought that because <clears throat> vital force, people were talking about that vital force, that the air has to be there uh, for the organisms to grow spontaneously. So he himself commented that although my experiment proved that life probably cannot uh, generate itself, but he then thought that because that vital force uh, during heating was destroyed, so that probably vital force was not there. And that is the reason uh, those flags 
uh, did not have any life in them. Then, in 1861, Louis Pasteur, um, he did a very beautiful experiment because the vital force, which was basically the air, people thought that the uh, presence of the air uh, is necessary for the generation of uh, uh, microbes spontaneously. So what he did, he um, boiled the broth in the glass flask, and he made that, the neck of the, the flask, he made into a kind of curve, as shape as you can see in this picture, which allowed the vital force or the air to enter, but not the microbes, because the microbes are heavy, they settled in the neck of uh, the, the flask. And um, he concluded, very clearly uh, demonstrated this, that uh, after boiling, there was no signs of life. So the theory of spontaneous generation was disproved uh, by Louis Pasteur. So Pasteur works uh, ended the spontaneous generation controversy. 